Is it me? Or does Fred look like he's getting drowsy over there? Let's wake him up. Fred, get up. I, I got him. Put it, oh, you can put it right on the shelf. <laughs> Four loaves of bread right there. Good morning, survivors. Polly Jr. here. And welcome back to Vintage Story. It is now June 10th. Six o'clock in the morning. Oh, gosh. You were late. I'm trying to wake up Freddy here. He wanted a wake-up call for 6 a.m. Fred, wake up. I can't tell if he's awake. Are his eyes open? His eyes are open. Okay, my bad. Sorry, Fred. I wasn't sure. <laughs> so, yeah, it's early in the morning here in Vintage Story, and we are about to do a little harvesting. So let me uh, let me free up my hands a little bit because we have a lot of crops, and we're going to need all the hands we can get. All hands on deck, including Fred. Fred loves to farm, don't you? Don't you, Fred? That's a nod. It's a little backwards, and then it comes forward, so I guess that's affirmative. All right. Um, I think that's fine. Let's get rid of the dirt in my hands. And we are going to pick up our new dirt, which is this stuff right here. The Terra Preta. It is the best soil in the game for farming. And we're going to replace our farm soil with that. And we have some new carrot seeds here as well. So let's grab them. Spelt seeds. We're going to get a ton of spelt seeds most likely when we do our harvesting. Because everybody is matured and all grown up and ready to go off on their own. Or, well, into my belly in one form or another as part of a stew maybe or a bread so i think we can make bread with all the rye and the spelt or well, rye bread would be lovely i love rye bread um and we have uh, one little no two little turnips over here let's see how many turnips we got wait a second actually how do we how do we harvest just break them with our hand okay just break with your hand oh that's easy all right come on up here little turnips you little tubers. Are they tubers? I think they're tubers. So we got one seed back. That's too bad. Um, I think you get either one or two. Sometimes you get two, but it's pretty rare. Uh, and we got two turnips out of that. So that's not fantastic, but it, I guess it's better than one or none. Um, now let's grab the onions here with a free hand. And let's see how many we get of the onions. So that time, three onions. I think the number is randomized. But obviously there's a min and a maximum. But I think you only get, like I said, maybe one, at least one seed from mature crops. Sometimes two. It'd be nice to get one extra. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right. So now we've got six onion seeds and 12 onions. Fresh for 28 days. Food category, vegetable, and 100 satiety points. That's awesome. All right. Let's free up some hands and let's grab the mature rye. And the spelt. So the rye is a little darker. And we got uh, grain from that. Rye grain. Right? Fresh for 90 days. And we can turn it into rye flour. Ooh, yeah. Can't wait to get into some baking. All right, let's just do this a little faster. We don't have to look at every single thing. Although I am curious about the spelt grain. We actually have some spelt grain in the house. So we need to figure out how to turn the grain into flour and bake bread. I'm pretty sure we can bake it right on our campfire, or fire pit, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, is that everything? It's nice that stuff floats in this game. Um, yeah, so we can just cook it right up in the fire, but we have to turn it into a dough first, obviously, in a fl well, flour. So we have, to, we have to grind it in a grinder somehow to make the flour. And then when you have the flour, you can turn the flour into dough in a bucket of water just like that so it's pretty simple and baking temperature is only 200 degrees so i'm pretty sure we can just do that right in our fire so that is something we'll look into once we get all of the goods and now we have flax so flax is going to give us flax right twine there's some more spelt some more rye um yeah i think we need a lot of flax because we need to make linen with flax uh, we can make twine with the flax. And I think we can make like new backpacks. So we're going to want a lot of flax. So once we get all this stuff up, we'll figure out how to make our um, our bread. And then we'll figure out what we want to replant here. And we're going to put our new terra preta in the ground as well. All right. I think that's everything. So we got 20 flax grain and 24 flax fibers Ooh, baby i think we can make a bow now i think we can make a bow now we have plenty of flax fiber let's take a look at that in fact so we can make flax twine 
Right, and that's used in leather body armor, leg armor, a bow, linen right here, which requires a whole lot of flax twine. But then we can get into like gambeson armor, nice beds, sails, sails. Oh, for a windmill, cool. So yeah, we definitely want to grow a lot more of that flax. It's probably gonna be our number one crop and the rest will just turn into flour and bread. Um, let's put everything in our vessel here, our storage vessel for the time being, our two turnips and our 12 onions. And we'll put all the grain in here with the exception of the rye. I'm gonna try to make, let's try to make right now some uh, some bread with our rye. Or I guess before we do that, I suppose we should just get all the seeds back in the ground first, right? So we have our onion seeds, spelt seeds, rye seeds, and the new carrot seeds. Um, yeah, let's do that first. Where's my shovel? We're going to have to pick up all this farm land right here. It's medium fertility. This is going to give us way more nutrients. And by the way, you can see that the nutrients have been reduced because the crops have consumed certain um, nutrients. Like K, for example, right here is down to 10%. Uh, we got N down to 18%. So different crops use different um, different nutrients, but this Terra Preta stuff is supposed to be really, really fantastic. It does come back over time, I guess, but oh, is that just destroying it completely? Oh, wow, farmland just gets destroyed completely when you dig it up. That's interesting. I guess you don't get it back. All right, well, that's fine, because we don't need it. So we're going to put it on our Terra Preta. Look at that. It looks like dark chocolate. It's so rich and brown. I love it. And where's my information? My information panel, I don't see it. It's not showing any information about that. Maybe we have to hoe it. Hold on. Let's go grab our hoe. Where's me hoe at? That's a, that's a prospecting pick. I think it's over here. Yeah, there's the hoe. All right, let's um let's take a look at that terra preta right now. At the nutrients, we're gonna hoe it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that moist farmland. Nutrient level 80 across the board. N, P, and K, and the growth speed 110 percent. Ooh, man, plants love this stuff. So yeah, it's faster growth and it has more of the required nutrients, so it should last a little longer uh, before going fallow, right? So we're gonna have to do like crop rotation and that kind of thing. So yeah, but this is really this is a really good find. I'm glad we got that. So we have just enough too, one extra in fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of this. I don't know what's gonna happen to that water though. Hopefully we don't screw it up. Let's see. Uh oh, it's fine. Okay, it's settled. It's all settled. All right. Oh gosh, what's going on here? Hey, 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 hey! None of that now. There you go. Just want you to be farmland. I don't want you to turn into grass. So that's cool looking though. I love the darker color. It does look so rich and creamy. Looks like chocolate. All right, we're gonna need another hoe to do this side. Let me finish up this other side here and then we will reconvene and uh, try to figure out how to make some bread. Can't wait. Um, is it me? Or does Fred look like he's getting drowsy over there? Let's wake him up. Fred, get up. I, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good throw. <laughs> I had one extra obsidian. Uh, do we get that back, by the way, when you throw rocks? You can literally throw rocks at things. It does one damage per rock. Apparently, you don't get it back. Anyway, all right. Are you awake now, Fred? Come on. We got we to gotta plant the seeds, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant our seeds. I'm thinking, um, yeah, whatever, pal. Let's put in, let's do, we want to do at least two rows of flax, I think, right? Because flax, like I said, is going to be super important. Let's do two rows of flax. And we'll put in uh, four rye. One, two, three, four. And then that one little turnip all by himself over here, right in front of old, uh, of old Freddy boy. And then on this side, I definitely want more new carrots. We have six carrot seeds. So we'll do, let's do one, two, three, four five and six and then we have six onion seeds and we'll do the same on this side one two three four five and six and then in the center let's put in i guess spelt that's all we have right yeah a couple of spelt here in the middle fantastic that looks kind of cool don't it all right great now 
let's see what we can do with our rye. We want to turn this into flour, right? So what we need for that is, let's find out. I'm going to make a, it's called a quern. And it's like, a, it's like a grinder. So we can make it out of granite, andesite, or basalt. So what we need is four basalt rocks and two sticks. And we can use this by hand, or we can actually, can actually automate it somehow with mechanical power with a uh, like a windmill and stuff so that would be really cool but we, we obviously we can't do that yet so let's just focus on what we can do and that is use our hands so let's grab a pick and we're gonna have to get some of the stone so here's kind of a neat trick i learned you can get full stones by oh gosh i'm getting hungry aren't i um <laughs> have a meal around here somewhere <laughs> It's a bowl with a meal. I don't even know what it is. Some kind of red meat and berries. There we go. And let's just top off with some... Actually, no, no. Let's not eat that red meat because we're going to make bread. Maybe I should have waited. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, let's go up here and we're going to dig on out the second floor. Let me show you my second floor. Let's put those seeds away. We don't need them. There's our shovel. And this dirt is here just temporarily because I had a couple of drifters drop down on me. And so we got a stairway going up to the second floor. Isn't it very lovely? Um, obviously, it needs a little more work, but at least uh, the, the lower floor is enclosed. We're going to push all this back and make some rooms here. In fact, here's how we're going to get the stone. I want to show you this trick. We just need some basalt. What you have to do is mine around the stone and free it from its, uh, from its friends, and it'll just drop as a stone. So you don't even need like a silk touch in vintage story. You just have to, you just have to mine them out. So let's see how can we do that. We need to find some volunteers for this. Uh, we're gonna need three, right? So let's say, uh, let's say those two fellers right there. We're gonna bang this guy out, bang this guy out, and then we're gonna dig around here. You two. We're gonna free. We can free, well, we'll free this one guy right here for now. Front, back, sides, top, etc. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it works. And we'll just take this one away. Bloop, and there he goes. Where is he? Right there. With the other guy. So now we have two. Unfortunately, you can't just take the stones and, like, make blocks. It just doesn't work that way. So as far as I know, this is the only way to do it. There might be another way. I'm not sure. If you do know the answer, put it down in the comments. Because this is, uh, I mean, it's not that convenient, frankly. I mean, it works. But if there's another way, maybe we can make blocks. But for now, we're just going to do it this way. You're free. All right, that's three. And we need one more. That'll be this feller. Pop. All right. Fantastic. Now, let's go make our quern and make our flour and our bread. So it was that, 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 and that, if I recall correctly, and a couple of sticks. Wow, super easy. Basalt quern, light absorption one. I don't know what that means, but what else? All right, put it down here in the kitchen, by the way. I think I'm gonna make a kitchen here. Um, I'm gonna end up moving all of these chests somewhere. I don't want the chest to be the first thing you'd see when you walk in the door, right? I mean, I kind of want to make it look like a, a real home. We'll have the blacksmithing area over here, kitchen here, some living space on the second floor, and then maybe storage in the back here. But um, that's all going to take some time, obviously. So bear with me while the place is under construction. For now, we're going to focus on getting some food and that sort of thing. I'm going to close that door. Don't trust that raccoon out there. He's cray cray. All right, so now here's the, the quern, and how do we do it? You right click on it, oh, you get a little box here, okay. Um, I think what we do is just put the grain in here, and then click on the top. Oh, it works, check it out. <laughs> that is so cool, we're grinding, and there's our flour. That is really, really neat. It does take a while though. I mean, it's not super fast, it's not slow, but it will be a heck of a lot more efficient once we can use mechanical power and get a windmill set up. But for now, this is going to have to do. 
trying to get it in third person mode so we can s watch me sitting and do oh i just put my hat on i just stole uh stole chicken feet's clothing <laughs> where is chicken feet how the heck did i get him over there that's a trick all right you know what let me let me go back into first person sorry pal just kidding just grinding the grains over here don't mind me let's open up that window so you can see it all right there we go we got 12 rye flour. It's great that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. That's quite a bit of, uh, of flour, isn't it? So now we just have to take our um, water bucket, uh, grab the water bucket, which has water in it, and we just put that in our crafting area here and dump in the rye flour. And look at that. We get rye dough. It's fresh for two days as is, <laughs> but it bakes into one rye bread. Oh, we ran out of water. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some more water. So it looks like one bucket of water can make 10 breads. Very good. All right, so we have 12 total um, dough. Let's go get that in the oven. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait. Oop, where'd my torch go? Oh, there we go. All right, light that fire. Should be some wood in there already. And there's our dough. And we just plop it in there. Yeah, baby, look at that. Mmm, <laughs> fresh bread baked on a fire. Doesn't get much better than this. Woohoo! <laughs> and we can just sit here and watch it and smell it. My mouth is watering. My stomach is growling. I love rye bread. Well, there's our first piece. Okay, we eat it right here, right now. Let's bring up our stats window here. So we have, we've had no grain at all so far. It's completely empty and our satiety isn't quite full, but I think if we eat this right now, let's say, oh, what, right between the eyes. Oh yeah, there we go. Grain went up a little bit, satiety went up and our health, did the health points go up a little bit? Yeah, they are, they're going up. Yeah, you really need a balanced, a balanced diet. I can't quite click on there, there we go. All right, let's grab another piece. I'm not very hungry though, so I might wait till we get hungry how much i wonder how much food this um satisfies 300 satiety yeah each loaf of bread is 300 satiety so obviously we don't need to eat it right now so we're just gonna bake it all and then save it how long does that last 18 days wow it's gonna be fantastic for traveling isn't it we put it in our vessel it's 126 days in this vessel right here four months worth of bread oh and i'm curious about how long it lasts down in our root cellar and can you even can you just put it oh you can put it right on the shelf <laughs> four loaves of bread right there doesn't say how long it lasts but the parish speed down here is 0.25 let's put it in this vessel right here one years one whole years this bread will last down in the basement in our vessel and possibly on the shelf. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, well, we don't need all that rye bread. That's fantastic, guys. This is gonna be so great for traveling with loaves of bread. Gonna be glorious. Oh yeah, look at it all. Fills you up nicely too. And it's easy to make, so easy to make. I'm gonna grab some more wood off our pile here because we're running a little bit low. There we go. Um, and that's just the rye bread. We have we have a ton more of rye. What do I do with it? Put it in here. I mean, not rye. We have all this grain here. Spelt grain. 4.4 years in this vessel. And we have some... Oh, here's some more rye here, too. I forgot about that rye. We also have flax grain as well. So, you know what? I like rye bread. I'm going to go ahead and make some more right now on the grinder. Corn. I'm gonna grind it up and make some more rye. So I think with that, my friends, we're gonna call it quits right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bake up a bunch of bread loaves. And in the next episode, we're gonna go off on a grand adventure somewhere. And maybe we'll go uh, do some prospecting or something. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do. But it will be grand and it will be adventurous and glorious. So let's, uh, let's call it quits right here for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. 17 loaves of rye bread right here. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I should probably share. 
Smell that? Hey, Fred, you smell that bread? You did a good job today, Fred. <laughs> Sorry about the black guy with the rock. Uh, all right, well, anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.